It's another beautiful nebula in the visible spectrum. Images of the infrared radiation emitted by M1 reveal filament structures that run through this nebula. These are thought to contain hot gases, but their exact nature still remains a mystery. The infrared also shows a cloud of energetic electrons trapped in a magnetic field and emitting synchrotron radiation. What is driving this cloud of electrons is exposed when X-rays emitted by M1 are detected. At the heart of the Crab Nebula, we find the leftovers of the original star, a rapidly spinning neutron star. This pulsar has a mass equivalent to squeezing the Sun into a ball just 20 kilometers across. It is rapidly spinning and spewing out pulses of high-energy radiation 30 times a second. Detecting high-energy X-rays that are emitted from the fast-moving particles in the center of the Crab Nebula allows astronomers to probe deeper into this exotic object. However, there is much more to these objects than just a pretty picture. After detecting radiation from space, astronomers need to analyze it to uncover clues to help reveal the physical processes occurring inside. One way is to study the spectra of light. This provides astronomers with specific information about the makeup of an object. All chemical elements have their own characteristic signature due to the absorption and emission of light at a particular wavelength. This is not just limited to the visible wavelengths. The unique signatures of different elements can be found right across the electromagnetic spectrum, providing crucial information about the chemical composition of celestial objects. Over the last half a century, scores of satellites have been launched to detect radiation across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. We have explored why spacecraft are needed to study the universe and a little of what they can tell us. There is so much more to understand and as technology develops, even more advanced detectors will be launched, permitting astronomers to solve the remaining mysteries of the cosmos. I'm Rebecca Barnes, Thank you for watching the first Science at ESA podcast.